The U.S. is a bit brainwashed when it comes to teeth whitening because despite the countless expensive products you see on store shelves, there's actually only one ingredient that whitens teeth and it costs less than water. That's right, 3% hydrogen peroxide is the only job doer behind all the fancy marketing and white strips, trays, toothpastes, and mouthwashes. All you do is mix one part water with one part 3% hydrogen peroxide and swish. Heckin' mint. Which means, yes, two of these does the same as one of those. And I know it's funny taking dental advice from a British citizen, but you don't need to take my word for it. It's always been a use of hydrogen peroxide, so long as you get 3%. What are you looking at? A lot of people ask me, Dylan, why are you seemingly never on Instagram? And the answer is very simple. Everybody is gorgeous 100% of the time. It's like one big, huge Calvin Klein advertisement. Look, when it's 2 a.m. and I'm feeling sorry for myself, covered in Pop-Tart dust, looking like a bowl of oatmeal with legs, the last thing I want to do is log onto Instagram and see a whole array of 6 foot 14 Italian bronze gods with 8-pack abs. No! Makes me feel bad. I want to come to TikTok and look at beans and frogs. Isn't that right, Henry? Henry! Make way, peasants! I've acquired the spice of the pumpkins! Premature outerwear! Obligatory gourd! Magic ice cream from the Great Depression. Now, in my personal experience, depression and ice cream are a match made in heaven, so I have high hopes for this. We begin with one package of raspberry jello. I'm going to assume we have the same size package. Though the last time I made that mistake, I ended up stunned and quite self conscious. Half cup of boiling water. Ah! Cup of sugar! By the way, this is a no churn ice cream, hence the magic. Three cups of moon juice! Vanilla! To the fridge! Whip a cup of cream. <laughs> So this took 40 minutes to stiffen up, which means it should see a doctor, but it also means we get to fold in the whipped cream. Be very gentle. Now, if it's not folding in properly like mine, you can go ahead and cry or put it back in the fridge. It's your call. Cover and freeze until firm. Good night. Good morning. Huh. <laughs> Good heavens. It's surprisingly soft. Impressive, sir. Survival bread from 1972. This bread is claimed to last upwards of seven years, or roughly the amount of time it's taken me to get my bachelor's degree. We start with a cup of sugar, quarter cup of honey, the same of water. Then we bring to a boil with a pack of lemon jello. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that jello is inevitable. Oh, we love jello. Shut up. Fire! For the dry ingredients, we need two and a half cups of powdered milk, two cups of oats. <laughs> Oh, stop, stop. How am I gonna survive the apocalypse if I can't survive oats? Once whatever this is has boiled, you add it to the dry. Oh, shit. Add a bit of water if we need to. Sweetie, this needs a lot of things, but water isn't one of them. Then we mold it into a brick. So thick. 30 minutes, 350. Huh. This is an enigma. It is quite dry, but not in a bad way, like a biscotti. I would take this camping. Frog eye salad from 1968. Start by boiling a pot of water. Fire! Cook a box of vicini de pepe to al dente. <laughs> you know, the other word for al dente is correct. To a new saucepan, we have a cup of sugar. Dash of flour. Two eggies. Then the juice from all of this canned pineapple. You see this? This is concern. Cook this, drain the pasta. Time to go. Ugh. We've chilled both of these down and now we start combining. Pineapple, why? The author calls this her comfort food. I call it a mistake. Pound of mandarin oranges. A tub of Cool Whip. A cup of... <laughs> marshmallows. Mm. Add salt if it needs it. It doesn't need salt, it needs help. To the fridge. <laughs> I just don't understand. Yeah, so it's not good. A bean pie from the 1920s. Beans, you heard me. Now these took a long bath last night. Good night. Good morning. Time to cook them. Fire! Pastry! Gotta use your fingies. Mm. Thank you for cooperating today. Ah! Bean Rebellion! Two cups of flour. Yummy, yummy. Simon yam, mo juice, eggy. How many? I don't know. It just says eggs. Sugar. Oh dear. Eh. Four. <laughs> Did you just kill my blender? Hello? <laughs> this is personal now. You swung first. <laughs> Checkmate. Looks horrifying. Let's slow down for a bit. Nothing makes sense anymore. Why are you good? You have a bag of beans in you. 
The clocks fall back. The days grow shorter. Knock knock. It's seasonal affective disorder. God damn IKEA Swedish. God damn. God. You know this is one of the few times I can say that I've screwed forty times tonight. What do you think, Long John Silver? Now, uh, you know there, buddy, instead of just sitting there watching me like a wet blanket, you could offer to help. You see me assembling this table. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Long John Silver, your raggedy ass painting you got. Oh! On this episode of Three Cool Vintage Things. Old light switches looked like this. Old radios sounded like this. Old toasters were kind of sketchy. Good morning. I'll be skipping breakfast today. These lamps are ugly, but they don't have to be. With some time and effort, you can turn these things into something classy, utilizing some tape, gold, and then matte black spray paint. Not to mention, once the coats have dried, there is nothing more satisfying than separating trim. For the cherry on top, you'll need three tubular Edison bulbs to complete the look. So here's the before and the after. I won't lie, I was not expecting it to look this good. I don't know how I pulled this off. <laughs> You know, originally I thought hanging old Long John Silver up there was a good idea, but now I just feel like he's judging me. You know, I, look at that idiot drinking a glass of ice tea. You know, real men drink whiskey. We'll be right back after this break. Were you involved in a rear-end collision that made you gay? Ask your doctor about thick-ass whiplash! Accidentally blitzed the neighbor's cat this 4th of July? You're not at fault! Do your arms keep falling off? Call 1-800-JESUS-CHRIST, my arms keep falling And we're back. Buy a mattress right now! It was sunny, it was relatively warm, and now it's snowing! No need for this, this is fake news! Everyone's talking about top energy this, bottom energy that. I just want energy! Top, bottom, east, west, shoulders, knees, and toes, I don't give a damn! I'm just tired. I woke up gay again today. Now I gotta go do gay shit.